We are following up for you now on an election question that passed by almost a two thirds margin in November, a nearly three million dollar per year property tax increase in the monument area for the local fire department. And tonight, News 5 Zach Thaxton live following the money in the Tri Lakes area. So, how would this money be used, Zach? Well, imagine asking your boss for a $10,000 pay raise and your boss saying, sure, here you go. Well, that's essentially what Monument Area voters told local firefighters with their passage of issue 5A in November. And it's not just firefighters getting a slice of the pie. It's old and outdated equipment, too. I really enjoy the area. I love the location. We chose it because we fell in love with it. John Voiles is new to Monument. He moved here from Greeley less than a month ago, and he's not alone. The Tri Lakes area's population has exploded roughly 20% the past five years. Meanwhile, funding for the Tri Lakes Monument Fire Protection District has grown less than 1% per year during that same time until now. We don't want to play catch up anymore. We want to be ahead of it and we're ready for the growth that's happening. Voters in November approved question 5A, increasing their property taxes roughly $50 per 100,000 in assessed value. With the median home value in Monument now nearly $475,000, that means more than 200 bucks per year they're parting with to pay firefighters 25% more, a roughly $10,000 pay raise. On an average, we were 25% below the average wage for the firefighter across the front range. And we actually saw that being a problem in our retention and recruitment issues. Chief Chris Trudy says getting Monument firefighters to $52,000 plus per year will help keep them from leaving for better paying departments and help get to their goal of 45 firefighters on staff by this summer. Plus, it'll help pay for new trucks and equipment out of pocket rather than having to borrow. I'm of the opinion that I would rather have the money in the bank and have the money working for the organization and the community than us paying interest and paying debt to the bank. Trudy says impacts have been immediate, especially in terms of morale. If they had to bump up their pay that much, I think they've been underpaid for a long time. Now with construction underway on two new retirement communities in the Tri Lakes, Chief Trudy says they anticipate a spike in medical calls coming up in the coming years. He says the mill levy will also help boost pay for ambulance personnel as uh, they're one of the few uh, departments in the area that actually has their own ambulance service rather than contracting that service out. Watching out for you in the Tri Lakes, Zach Daxton, News 5.